hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Marion sweets and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel like this video and also comment down below okay see so you yeah, guys let's get straight into it today firstly actually i wanted to say thank you so much for all the messages that i've been sent on instagram all of the love that you've been sharing with me and all the support that you've been giving me i know that it was it was a big video and i did expose a lot of things i did expose the nature of the workplace i've exposed what it was like to work there i exposed what the people were like the time to reflect to experience i mean i'm not gonna lie to you it was a really great experience because if i didn't go through that i wouldn't have been able to do this video and also like share the the brutal reality of what working abroad could be like thank you again guys to everything or to all my real subscribers to all my real followers like i really appreciate everything that you've you guys do for me and the love that you show me like it it never goes unnoticed and yeah you can continue sending me messages about workplaces abroad i'm happy to advise give support like wherever possible you know as long as it doesn't you know you don't push any boundaries because i've been receiving some messages they be quite personal and it just makes you think like yo chill you can't be asking me how much i be getting like what like you can't be asking for my pay you can't be asking what agency employed me like that's i feel like there's certain types of questions you just don't ask people and i feel like it's just personal we just need to know the difference between you know like confidential information and information that you're able to ask me but you know i don't take anything to heart i'm sure that whoever's asking me these questions really just want to you know get a job abroad and i'll be happy to help you wherever i can i can send links i can try and support like direct you where the sort of schools you should definitely look out for so you can actually send me a message if you have like an offer at a school and if it's a school that i know and it really doesn't have a good reputation i would definitely advise you not to go there and even if you get a job offer at my previous school so i can call it my previous school now i would definitely just try and tell everyone to stay away because it's not is not the one to go to at all like i feel like i would be saving people a lot of trauma heartache headache and just overall time so yeah like feel free to you know tell me anything that you want to tell me about job offers that you have the schools that you want to kind of you're not sure about and you kind of need my input into what the sort of schools are like don't get me wrong though i don't know all the schools but there are some schools that i probably heard of are specific names of schools that are that do ring a bell to certain people and there's a lot of things that i've heard as well from colleagues that i've worked with to stay away from certain schools so i just you know took the chance to just stay away from that city overall so yeah but let me just get into today's video this was like a very long introduction i apologize for that guys but i just felt like that needed to be said okay so today's conversation i would say because it's just me talking uh is going to be about i can just hear a lot of music from my neighbors like i just don't want to be rude but you know it is what it is kind of thing today's conversation is basically going to be about accommodation you guys are gonna have to bear with me because i know there's a lot of things that you want to know but i feel like accommodation is a very important thing to talk about something that i will advise people not to do to go against is to take up school accommodation when you are offered a job okay don't take up no school accommodation the service is satisfactory i would say satisfactory to poor like the amount of things that i've been through living in the school accommodation and the way people just did not care and did not even want to ask or did not even want to help is beyond me like literally like i've been going through i would say i've been through a lot of things with school accommodation where the water's not working properly like literally like the tap one time like some people couldn't even go into school because the the school taps weren't working the school taps the taps in our apartments weren't working there's literally no water coming from the tap and then i had this ongoing issue with my toilet where you know like um there's a there's a there's a this is this is my 
this is my Somali tongue coming out where the it has a it has a um a spray thing next to the toilet so every toilet in the middle east has got like a little spray thing next to the toilet it's amazing like it does it, it it does a lot of things for us you know so that thing was just not working it's an inconvenience and then you get somebody to come fix that and then they tell you yeah it's fixed but then it's not fixed like two hours later you're still dealing with the same issue that you thought was fixed two hours before so there's a lot of things. I'm going to try and insert pictures where I'm not really exposing school or even their accommodation. But these are basically what it looked like where we had, uh, I would say, insects and flies, like legit, like unlimited amount of flies that were in our, just wandering around our kitchen. It got to the point where we weren't able to cook any food. We weren't able to make any food. We weren't able to 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 warm up any food because the flies were just everywhere like it took over the whole kitchen and it just became a point of like what's the point like you'd clean you'd clean you'd clean and you'll just see flies just stick into the kitchen cabinets like they'll be like what 50 and i know people say it's a hot country you know like you're gonna have to deal with this sort of thing okay i get it like it is a hot country but there's hot and then there's this shouldn't really be happening like the the accommodation that we were staying at which is the apartment was always clean we always tried to keep it as clean as we can the floors the 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 surfaces everything was clean but it's kind of like these flies just came out of nowhere like literally like one day i just thought you know what oh there's just flies everywhere like let me just try and like spray it and try and just you know maybe there's something wrong maybe i didn't clean that area for some time but instead of me doubting the fact that i am not a good cleaner i should have basically looked into this issue which i haven't like i think it was like two days after that i just spoke to my roommate at the time and i just thought do you know where this is coming from like do you do you know what what was causing this like i'm just really confused and it got to the point where like there's so many of it i didn't want to cook anymore i really did not want to cook so i was going out to eat because i'm not going to be sitting or standing in an infested kitchen and cook my food like it's not gonna happen like there's a time where i spent like what 400 dirhams worth of food for myself because we used to do like separate shopping i spent 400 dirhams like i had a like a legit tray full of food and i was legit like i legit drove to the supermarket did my shopping and this was like five days before the kitchen became infected and i was just kind of like wow and now i have to go out and eat food and spend more money on food like for what reason when i was actually happy to cook food happy to stay home and it got to the point where you didn't even want to stay at home anymore you didn't want to stay at home you wanted to go out like every day we were just out we just did not want to be in that apartment only time we went home was if we needed to go to sleep literally to sleep to bathe to to sort out our things at home that's about it and to clean like it, it didn't even feel like home you didn't even want to be there like you got to the point where like i literally was considering going and staying in a hotel like legit packing up my stuff spending my own money to stay in a hotel like it was that serious guys and i was just like really like sad you know in the situation because i just thought like why is it that we're having to deal with this and no one's actually doing anything and then the people which is the, the the maintenance guys when they come they would just tell you sorry we don't have equipment to to fix your apartment how can you not have equipment how can you not have equipment to to fix an issue what's maintenance for then i, I didn't i was so confused what is main why are you downstairs what what's the point of you being here if you're not going to fix the situations like what is it to babysit us like what is it i didn't get it like i just thought aren't they here to 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 fix anything that's broken or or to to mend anything like they weren't even good security at the end of it because the door was open half the time like even more than half the time the door was just always open like people could go in and out in and out in and out. you don't even know who's coming in to your apartment complex and we're all supposed to be girls being protected i just didn't get it like i know like a place as a whole was just always safe to be around anyway but it's the fact that why are we having to deal with an issue when we are already paying for it like it's we were paying for this 
apartment it was coming out of her salary and it wasn't even like small change we're talking like imagine you're staying in apartment in london kind of thing and nobody is doing anything for you i was ready to leave like i would say i was ready to leave in may if i could i would have really and truly if i could i would i would have even left the money because there was money coming to me. i would have actually left the money and i just would have just gone like i would have just disappeared but obviously you have to work your notice period you have to work i just thought you know what i'm just gonna work this period and then as soon as i get my money because if i'm gonna stay i might as well get my money as soon as i get my money the day after i am out of the building like i'm out of the whole country i didn't even want to see the country like it's literally like bye 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 and i'm out literally but i ended up leaving a couple of days later only because i had to sort things out i wasn't really packed that week that we actually uh took off i wasn't really packed nothing was ready so it was just kind of like no but another thing was in my apartment there was like so many insects there was like so much insects that were in the room and it got to the point where it was like literally like frustrating everybody i'm going to literally try to capture the pictures and try to show it to you but i didn't want to be there she didn't want to be there nobody wanted to be there and it's kind of like you can shout you can scream but then they'll still give you the same answer they're giving you like ma'am there's nothing we can do ma'am we have no equipment and then sometimes they'd hide from you they would hide these big men would hide they would literally just disappear from the face of this earth. They'll just disappear. And you'll probably find them one time when you're like trying to get back home or something. And you're like, hey, weren't I looking for you? Like, I'm pretty sure I gave you like, what, 50 missed calls? I gave you 50 missed calls, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And then you'd show the evidence and then they'd say, oh, uh, I was asleep. My guy, my guy, you were not asleep. You knew exactly what phone call you were having. You did not want to deal with the problem. So you just thought, I'm just going to ignore this issue. And this is another thing. People were ignoring the problem, which was frustrating even more. Like, it was frustrating me even more. Like, why are you ignoring the calls? Why are you not doing something about it? So guys, literally, truly, truly, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, something that I will never do again I will never ever put myself in a situation, even if that apartment is worth 50k, 50,000 dirhams, I don't even care. If it's worth 50, I'm still not going to ever take school accommodation. The only reason why I did take school accommodation was because I was new to the city and I needed to settle in without even thinking about accommodation because they did say they were going to put me in a hotel and I had like, what, a month? A month to find an accommodation so it's kind of like am i gonna get used to the work am i gonna have to think about work and accommodation or should i just ease it ease the stress load for myself and should i just go and think about work and i took work seriously and i thought you know what i'm just going to take the accommodation that they give me how bad can it be and trust me it passed bad the moral of this story is don't take school accommodation i'm telling you they will take the money away from you but they'll not give you anything in return and also another thing is school accommodation depending on which one you go to can be quite basic very basic like i was making like a lot of comparisons and we were given the basic of the basic the basic of the basics like i'm telling you no one actually put in any effort with the interior design so it's kind of like you know when you're like reeling people in you're reeling people in like are you not even gonna try and decorate the apartment to the best of your ability like are you not gonna try and 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 make it look cute like it was so basic to the point where a guy could live there you know how guys live right they 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 don't need much they just need like a basic sofa and a tv we didn't even have a tv there okay fine like you could be poor like i'm not even gonna put people down because they may not have a lot of money cool that's fine you may not have a lot of money but it's like why don't you wait until you make a lot of money 
to give people the best service why are we getting to the point where we're giving people like really bad service it's just fully poor like if you had to tell me to rate it from zero to five i can't even give it a one like i'm not even trying to like be rude but it was zero like if i could say minus one like i probably would say minus one guys so please guys be careful about the accommodation that you choose and try to choose wisely do this thing where if you do want to choose school accommodation you try to go to the accommodation before you agree to it if this is something that's even possible and try to see if it works for you there might be school accommodation out there that may be the best that may be great that may be amazing and that give you a lot that give you the support the service that you need but for example the experience that i had and i've had i've actually heard really bad worse experiences than myself guys there's people that have gone through worse than what i've gone through in the same apartment complex so what i was dealing with was basically five percent of what they were dealing with okay so it's not every apartment and it's not every school but there are people that will try and deceive you there are people that will try and take things from you and they will try and try and try because that place is a place where you just make money and the only concern is am i making a profit from it if people are not making profit from it they are not there you are only seen as a number you are only a label you are only a bag when people see you they'll probably see you as money because like one way or the other whether you're working for them or not they're still making money from you because they're still taking the rent from you there's places that i've heard that they give you the accommodation for free and they also give you your salary but the situation that i was in was the accommodation was given to me but they also said that it will be minus from my salary and i thought hmm okay and then when you try to get out of that deal where you don't want to live in that accommodation anymore which is something that was going on it would be harder for you to get out of it because they'll tell you to finish an ac academic year so the issue is it will be complex it will be difficult for you to even get yourself out of that after you got yourself in it some people were lucky enough to be uh, advised not to select the apartment complex that the school offers okay i know a girl that actually she actually because of her friend she was told don't go for the apartment complex don't choose the accommodation take your own accommodation and just run with it and just take their money take the money that you're offered the full amount of money that you're offered and live like in the apartment complex that i'm living in which is probably like what it was like five minutes away from us and that was better than what where we were living really so you know that an apartment complex is bad when everybody is deciding to move out from it every single person that i've known that lived there from the moment that i started living there moved out by the time i was i would say me and my roommate were probably the last couple of people that were moving out like everybody wanted to leave nobody wanted to stay and it was just kind of like one of them ones where it's kind of like juices peace out i don't want to be here i don't want to i don't want to interact with anybody anymore i just want to leave so yeah guys i would definitely say when you are offered certain things have a really really good think about it pictures do no justice like if you even ask somebody to send you a picture which i have in the past before i actually moved into this accommodation i thought these this accommodation looked amazing literally like i don't know how people do it but they make the accommodation look amazing and i just thought wow like this accommodation looks amazing when you get there it's beyond basic and it's kind of like hmm, okay let's try and work with it and this was before even any of these issues came along these issues where i'm talking about like insects and flies came like literally this year like a couple of months ago and it's kind of like i don't like this and i also had like these little red tiny 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 insects that were in my room actually you could barely see them but i only had it like once in a while anytime i saw it which 
i don't know what it is but my eyesight mashallah my eyesight is literally like amazing you literally have to put a light on your floor and you're gonna have to see it like that otherwise you wouldn't really you wouldn't really see it so because i was paranoid i would do it like i would say every day but it wasn't there every day i would say i would see it like once every like four or five months and when i see it like i would legit like get extra bleach out i would legit bleach the floors but it's not good to live like that it's not good to always be looking over your shoulder always be looking you know on the floor seeing if there's anything wrong going to the kitchen not being able to make breakfast having to eat out breakfast having to eat out lunch dinner everything like i'm not even going to complain about money because money wasn't really an issue for me like i don't mind because i always like save anyway but it was the fact that i was having to spend this money when i could have just done my shopping brought it home made food but that wasn't something that was possible for us especially you know when girls are living in an apartment got flies and like it's got insects like we are not really the best to deal with this it's not cute and it will never be cute so really think about what you're offered and have a really good look at all your options before you actually select what you are about to select and just know that whatever you're about to choose there's going to be commitment behind it so you're going to have to basically stay in that accommodation for like the end of the academic year and that was the annoying part where you couldn't just leave whenever you wanted to leave and do your own thing and get your own money like there was always like something there was strings attached there was like something that you needed to complete there's always forms that needed to be done a couple of months ago i wanted to move out and i couldn't because they said you haven't finished your academic year in this apartment and i'm like but i finished a year yeah but you have to you've entered another academic year and it's kind of like these people actually do not care they do not care about you they see you like i told you they see you as money they see you as bags and they will continue to see you as bags until you leave like it's, it's as simple as that you have to look out for yourself you're you have to be your number one supporter whatever you have to do do it because i would say don't ever get into a situation like mine where you're just quiet like we were never really quiet about these situations but there is a level of patience there's a level of patience and my patience is at zero a lot of the time people will be like calling me telling me like yo calm down it's like no i'm not going to calm down what are these people playing at like are people like mentally okay like are they good and you know what people didn't care because everyone else is patterned up right they're all patterned if like the people that are above you are patterned like you know like they get really good service if you're getting your coffee in the morning and if you got your own pa which is your own assistant that's doing everything for you you wouldn't really care about what's going on with anyone else you have to be your own supporter you have to do whatever you have to do to get to where you need to be if that means that you have to make a few appointments during the day to speak to certain people to escalate it you're gonna have to do it escalate the matter cc the principal that's that's my go-to motto all the time cc the principal he has to know about it he has to read it he is forced to deal with it and he will deal with it that's the issue like you're gonna have to deal with it because at the end of the day people chose to work for you and in your school so you have got a sense of responsibility to ensure that these people their mental health their well-being is good if it means that you have to bother certain people bother them if that means you have to get under some people's skin get under their skin when i tell you there's going to be no one that's looking out for you in that place no one's going to look out for you don't even think like oh maybe someone's going to feel sorry for you no one's going to feel sorry for you and um, maybe someone's going to help me no one's going to help you if you need help ask for it if you need something ask for it if you need to make an appointment make that appointment if you need to see that particular person go see that particular person like i'm telling you like blood sweat and tears go do what you need to do but guys i'm telling you right now everything is real don't think when you get to that when you get to that place abroad everything's gonna be smooth sailing I'm not gonna lie there are some things that are smooth sailing yes correct but it comes at a cost it comes at a price it comes you know with certain cons and these cons are something that needs to be dealt with in the correct way like i'm not saying like you have to go scream shout abuse that's not the right way to go about it but when i tell you that you might need to get certain people involved in emails you know because get, keeping email trails is important you're gonna have to go above them i done that 
plenty of times. You're going to have to do it. It's just something that you just have to do. Do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. Simple as, guys. Just, you know, a message to all my subscribers who are basically, I know most of you are teachers seeking to teach abroad or even maybe in the future this is something that you're thinking about doing and that's fair enough but I keep it 100% real with you guys. I keep it 100% real and I also will let you know that I'm not painting every school with one brush. Like it's not, that's not the case. But what I'm saying is it does exist. These issues do exist and, and it does exist across. It's about making sure that you don't put yourself in a position where you are going to struggle or require support it's about making sure that when you do make that decision it's the right decision that you're making like i said do what you need to do to get to where you need to be because ain't nobody else that's gonna have your back so yeah guys thank you again so much for watching this video make sure that you like you do comment because i want to know what you think about these sort of like videos and yeah you do obviously subscribe like don't be watching my videos and not subscribing but yeah guys thank you again and i will see you all very soon and yeah bye